I'm Herbie Chambliss. We're here at the Flying Crown Ranch. Jason and I wanted to give you the opportunity to see what we had inside the hangar. We'll start out here with this uh, first airplane. This is a 1946 J3 Cub. Uh, it's got a little Continental 85, a real small little motor. There's no electrical system, actually. You, you start the airplane by flipping the propeller. Probably one of my favorite airplanes in the world is the Cub. This one was totally rebuilt in the early 2000s after a dust storm flipped it over. So it's actually almost a brand new Cub. It's got basically all the old original instruments in it. They've all been refaced and resurfaced. And you can see all the, the detail work with the floors and uh, you probably won't find a nicer one. It's a fun little airplane. This is what everybody learned to fly in back in 1946. This aircraft here is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a, a three-quarter scale of a Fiesler Storch, which is the uh, aircraft that uh, Hitler sent up to rescue Mussolini. It's what they call a stole aircraft, which is short takeoff and landing. This aircraft can take off and land in about 50 feet, which is really a neat thing. The stalling speed is 22 miles an hour, which is really slow for an airplane. What allows this airfoil to be able to fly so slow is this leading edge slat, and it's a, a fixed slat. Also, the way this uh, airplane is constructed is it has metal ribs, and then the skin is actually fabric, as you can see. This airplane is a certified experimental light sport. You can fly this thing with a recreational pilot's license or, or no pilot's license, and uh, that's one of the beauties about it. Again, it's a dirt bike with wings. We've just taken a delivery of the new Edge 540 version 3. You know, the cowling, it's a little bit more streamlined. Uh, the gear has been cut down. They've cut the uh, canopy area down a little bit more, just trying to do everything they can to make it as slippery as possible. Uh, this is the engine in our new V3 race plane. This uh, particular engine, it's a Lycoming IO540 engine, 540 cubic inch. It's pushing about 360 horsepower, which on a stock 260 horsepower motor is quite an upgrade, so we're pushing them pretty hard. You can see there's differences in the wingtips too. They've uh, increased the sweep back on them, and then also the tips a little bit larger. We've determined this airplane's about three knots faster. Hopefully that's going to convert to about a half of a second on the track. And most of you are familiar with my airshow airplane. I've been flying this airplane in airshows uh, since we got it in 2003. It's a stock Edge 540, a couple of few modifications on it. I come from a competition background. I you know, try to fly extremely accurate. And what allows me to do that is this sight. And basically, when I pull the airplane vertical, I lay this down the horizon. That gives me a nice vertical lines. These are 45 lines for right side up and also 45 line for inverted. Um, you see the string here. A lot of people ask what that's all about. Uh, when you're trying to slide the airplane backwards in a competition, you have to be able to slide it both with the wheels up and then also with the wheels down. So it's really important to know just when the aircraft starts to slide backwards in order to be able to do that. So the string will go from here and it'll be pointed this way here and that allows you to know that when you're falling backwards. And one of the new additions for our fleet, this 2005 Meridian, the biggest difference is it has a turboprop, basically a jet engine in it with a propeller on it. We carry all of our parts in here in order to support the air show airplanes and the race planes. This airplane will cruise at 260 knots, will go up to 30,000 feet, and that makes it nice for us to be able to get out of the ice and to fly in some, you know, pretty bad weather, which we really weren't able to do in the band. This is the aircraft that I raced in the 2010 season. Uh, we're in the process of switching from a race airplane to our backup air show airplane. It's super light, it's got a super strong motor on it. The owner of the uh, aileron here, we have what's called a spade or a shovel. It kind of has two purposes. One purpose is it acts as a counterbalance. There has to be so much weight in front of the aileron hinges in order to keep it from fluttering. And then it's also a form of power steering. Say we need to flex the aileron upwards like this, there's a ton of force pushing back on the aileron. Air hits this spade or shovel and pushes it backwards. So with these on there, it basically makes it so that you can move the aileron really, really easy. You hardly even feel it. 